Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create hard surface asset. We will create this hard surface asset with the four step. In the first step, we will use the triangle to create the basic block out. In the second step, we will create bullions on it. In the third step, we will create right topology on it. In the fourth step, we will give its volume that 3D form, and then we will try to create a design out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, we need to add a triangle. So how we can add the triangle? We need to add a cylinder with the three words like this. After that, you need to go to the edit mode and then you need to select this bottom faces and then delete them. After that, just set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3D cursor. Now you need to select these words and then control B and then add a bevel on it. So control B and then press V to add a bevel on it and add a four segment bevel. The next important thing, you need to use the insert operation at there. So use the small insert operation and then scale it down like this. After that, just move these parts along the z-axis like this. You will get this kind of tapper kind of shape. Okay, then you need to use the one more time the insert operation and then adjust its scale. After that, use the insert operation one more time. Now you need to add a few loop cuts at here. After that, you can add one loop cut here and then add one loop cut at here. Like this. The next thing, we need to add a cylinder. And this time, we will go with 8 word cylinder. So add the cylinder and vertex count will be 8. Just scale it down the cylinder like this and move it along the z-axis. So it will be visible. Then go to the edit mode and now you need to select the words and then right click and then connect vertex path and create a path in between the words like this same at the bottom side after that you need to select this H and then control B and then add a bevel on it add a one segment bevel at there just turn on that x-ray mode and then select these words and move them along the y-axis like this then select these words and move them along the y-axis like this. Next thing, you need to scale it down. After that, you need to move the cylinder at this corner and then set the transform orientation to the normal and rotate it into the 60 degree angle. And then you can adjust its scale like this. After that, you need to scale this along the z-axis. So press S, Z and then scale it along the z-axis. And now we need to set the transform pivot point at the 3D cursor. So just set it and you need to shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 120 degree angle. Then one more time rotate it into the 120 degree angle. Now you need to select all these three cylindrical shapes and then join them together. Then select that triangular shape and use the boolean operation difference. You will get this kind of boolean set there which looks pretty well. After creating the basic block out, we have created the booleans on it. Now the third step, it is creating the right topology. So just apply that boolean modifier and then delete the cutter object. Now you need to select the words and then press M and merge last. You need to merge the words. So we can create the right topology at there. So just select the words and then press M and merge at last. Or you can select these words and then use the right click connect vertex path. So just select these words, right click, connect vertex path and same thing at this point also. Then you can dissolve this edge. Okay, you can see we got a loop structure at there. You can see here are double words, so just merge them at the center. And we got this loop structure. Same thing we need to do at here also. So just select these words and press M and merge at last. Select these words, press M and merge at last. Select these words and press M, merge at last. Same thing, you need to repeat at there. Uh, we can create the loop structure like this or we can add the loop cut at here. And then what next? We need to select the words and then right click, connect to vertex path. Select these words, right click, connect to vertex path. Add one more loop cut like this. Select the words, right click, connect to vertex path. Same thing you need to do at here. It's very simple. 
Then you need to add one loop cut like this and then use the knife tool and create a cut like this. We need a loop structure around that boolean. So that's why you need to create a loop structure like this with the help of knife tool. Then select these words, press M and merge at the center. And same thing you need to do at here also. Select these words, press M and merge at the center then dissolve these edge loops. And now we can see we got a loop structure around our boolean. Now just you need to give the right position to your words and you need to keep the same distance in between these edge loops, in between these words. So we will get a smoother topology and we will get a decent form at there. That keeping the same distance is also important. So that's why you can adjust the position of your words. After that you can add loop cuts like this. This loop cuts will help us to maintain the form. And now we need to do the same thing at here. After that, we need to take the symmetry. So select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Now I can add loop cuts like this, words and then select these words, right click, connect vertex path. Just dissolve these words or you can select these words and press M and merge at last. And then use the knife tool here and create a cut like this to create that loop structure around the boolean. And now you can see we have created the right topology on the model which looks pretty well. And this topology will help us to maintain the form of the model which is most important thing. And now you need to add the center loop cuts like this. So now I will select these words and then right click connect vertex path. Now just select these faces and use the extrude operation at there and then use the insert operation at there. Use the small insert operation and then you need to adjust the scale. After that just use the extrude operation at there. Just adjust its scale and then use the extrude operation and then scale it down like this. Now just select these faces and turn on your extra mode and just try to give the right position to them. So now you need to select the words and then right click connect vertex path. Simple. You will get a loop structure add there. So just select these words right click and then connect vertex path. Then you need to add sub D modifier on your model and then increase that sub D count. And now your model looks good, shear smooth it and you got a decent form at there, decent. And now you need to give the little bit of thickness to it. That's also very important that we should have depth on it. And you can add the loop cuts like this to maintain the form. The next important thing, now you need to select these faces. So here I want to create a little bit of detail so that's why I have selected these faces and then delete these faces. Now use the knife tool and create a cut like this. Okay then select these words, right click connect vertex path and then dissolve these edges. Okay now you can add one loop cut like this then select these words, right click connect vertex path and then select these words and merge at last. And then select these words and then use the 8 slide at there. Then use the knife tool and create a cut like this. And that's it. Just take the symmetry along the x axis. And now you can see it's look good. So you can see I have created a decent cut at there. And then you can add few more loop cuts on the model. So now you need to select everything, shift D to duplicate it and move it along the z axis. And this is your fourth step, adding a thickness to it. Select these edges and then press F to fill the gap like this. Same thing you need to do at here. Select this edge, press F and then select this edge and then press F, 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 F to fill the gap. Otherwise you can use the bridge edge loop also. And then you can add the supporting loop cuts like this. These loop cuts will help you to maintain the form of the model. 
and now select everything mesh and then symmetry take the symmetry along the x axis and now we are getting little bit of weird shading at there because of the wrong face orientation so just check the face orientation go to the edit mode select everything press alt n and then recalculate outside now you are getting the right face orientation and smooth shading so you need to check that face orientation also okay it's look good now we need to add few loop cuts on the model okay we don't need this design at here at the bottom side so we can select this edge loop and control x to dissolve it and that's look good and now you need to add the supportive loop cuts wherever it's necessary you can see the model it's look decent adding more details and creating something out of it this is not the rule creating a good design with adding less details that's more important you should keep your design as simple as possible and it should look good that simplicity is one of the key point of your design in this way you can create this kind of model so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care